circumstances seems to be the goal of almost every human being, simply because he was taught how to be a victim. Man is a powerful mental control, if he could only understand this and believe it and have faith in it. Man can really move mountains or cause a mountain to really cast itself into the sea, but he prefers to be a victim, at least it seems to be this way. The teaching he received in his early life could well be a beginning of the problem. A child would bump into a chair, for example, and hurt its head, and mother would whip the chair for being in baby's way. Nasty chair, how dare that naughty chair hurt my baby, was probably the remark that may have been made or may have made an indelible impression on the baby strong enough to weaken the child for life and make him feel that he is truly a victim of life instead of a power in his own rights. Was his birthright stolen from him at this time? Was he cut down to size on purpose? Or was it done with good intentions? Well, I prefer to believe that the latter was true. But the ignorance of the mother, the father, the brother, or the sister, or the relatives was certainly in evidence. And the baby was then broken down to live a life of a victim in much the same as all other people on this world. Whatever success or happiness that comes to people must come in the way as trouble, sadness, illness, and failure does. They must be a victim of circumstances. Oh, at times they hope to succeed... They hope for the best, but they take whatever comes. And if they succeed, they say, well, it happens this way sometimes. Sometimes things all work out to favor a person, or they philosophize in some other way. Guess Lady Luck was on my side this time. I sure have had my share of bad luck. Guess it was about time that I got at least one good break. And once in a while we hear, well, I worked a little harder to get it, or my prayer must have been heard, and so forth, and so forth, and so on. Yes, always dependent upon others, dependent upon things, dependent upon conditions, situations, and circumstances. If everything goes right, I'll be successful. Yes, always a victim. And if the stars or everything else, whatever that may mean to the individual, goes right, he'll be okay. If not, he'll be a failure at whatsoever it might have been that he said he was going to try. Yes, people are so involved in being a victim that they really are victims. I believe that they feel safe and secure being a victim. If things go right, Notice that if things go right, then they can brag. And if things go wrong, they are quite safe from blame, always protected in good and what we call bad. Things always happen to a victim, you know. Illness just happens to the patient, of course. He did it, she did it, the kids did it. She won't, he won't, they won't. It did this did, that did, it cannot, it can't, this won't, this can't, that won't, that can't. It is no good, this is no good, that is no good, is the victim's viewpoint of almost all things, conditions, situations, and circumstances. And this goes for the health goes for illness, success or failure, love or hate, happiness or sadness. Yes, absolutely dependent, positively a good victim. A victim at birth? Well, possibly, or was taught how to be one. But it doesn't really matter much. Most everyone is a victim of life. In fact, so much a victim that they are afraid not to be one, actually scared 
of taking a chance all on their own.